Hello and welcome to Michael Dillon Show. I'm your host, Michael Dillon. I'm here today to talk about different things going on in TV land and movie world. So if that's the kind of content you like, then please hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell to get more of my videos. Now on to what you're really here for. So the first topic I want to talk about today is the new Matrix 4 Resurrections trailer. Wow, this trailer just blew me away how good it was. Now I've been excited from day one ever since they announced they were making this movie. And this trailer has just upped my excitement for it um, I've been I've been a fan of the Matrix from 1999 when the first one was released uh, the second and third one was went downhill for me um, it wasn't as good as the first one but I still enjoyed them uh, so like I said when they first announced this I was super excited now the trailer starts off with Neo sitting in the psychiatrist's office talking to a psychiatrist which is played by Neil Patrick Harris um, and he's asking him, am I crazy? You know, because he's having dreams of the past events, uh, events of the Matrix, um, which he don't really remember who he was. He don't remember that he's got powers, none of that. It also uh, cuts into him taking the blue pill. Uh, I don't know if you remember from the first movie, uh, it, he had the blue pill and the red pill. The blue pill, he would go back to his normal life and not realize anything happened the red pill he that's what got him out of the matrix that's what opened his mind up so like i said he's taking the blue pill in this but it the trailer cuts to different uh different scenes in the movie uh one where he meets carrie ann moss trinity um he don't recognize her they both see each other and they think that hey you look familiar have i met you before and uh, uh, they shake hands and you can tell there's an instant connection there now uh, it also shows a lot of good action uh, shows him stopping the bullets with his hands uh, it, it it's really good um, there's uh, another dojo scene with young Morpheus uh, Lawrence Fishburne's not playing him anymore they've got another actor playing him uh, a younger version I'm not sure how that's going to tie into the plot, but uh, it seems interesting to me. Now, Warner Brothers has decided to release this movie day in, day out with uh, in the theater and on HBO Max. It's going to kill the box office. Uh, that was a huge mistake. I understood when they very first started this, uh, HBO Max and uh, theater same day release day, but it's, it's not the same you know it it just kills the box office and I don't think the last time I checked I don't think that it's really bumping up their subscriptions to HBO Max enough to counteract how much money they're losing in the box office um, people who want to see it in the theater go see it the first week weekend and then the, the drop-off is ridiculous the next weekend but anyway, so December 21st is when it release, releases, and I will be going to the theater to see this. This is one of those movies that I feel like has to be seen in the theater, at least for the first time, to get the full effect and the full enjoyment out of it. So, if you plan on seeing this, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you saw the trailer, let me know what you thought about the trailer, and if it bumped up your excitement any more than like it did mine. So the second topic I want to talk about today is... Picard season two trailer it finally dropped um, now I mentioned the other day on my last video that I was disappointed with season one uh, the episodes were really hit and miss with me uh, it did not give me the same feeling that I was hoping for from that the next generation gave me uh, it, there was there were a few parts that did um, especially when they brought in you know had data in there and they had uh, Riker um, that was nice but it still didn't give me the same feeling uh, now this trailer shows Q uh, John Delancey as Q and then shows the Borg Queen um, so one of my favorite parts of fa fa favorite episodes um, had Q in them from the next generation uh, the dialogue between John Luke Picard and Q was I, I felt like some of the best dialogue writing in the series um, so I'm hoping for a repeat in Picard season two. 
uh, the trailer was great it reminded me of um, the voyage home Star Trek 4 the voyage home with uh, uh, Captain Kirk and Spock, Spock traveling back to earth back in the past um, in this trailer it shows uh, Picard and his crew traveling back to the past um, to save humanity I guess so let's let's hope that season two can be an improvement over season one at least in my eyes so if you saw the trailer comment below and let me know what you thought about it uh, if you plan on watching season two let me know and let me know what you think so the third thing I want to talk about today is Venom let there be carnage so Sony has changed the release date again. Uh, Let There Be Carnage was originally set to release October of 2020. And then with the pandemic and everything going on, they moved it to June of 2021. And then September of 2021. And then October 15th of 2021. And now with the success of Shang-Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings, they have moved it up two weeks instead of moving it again um, moving it back again uh, myself along with many others was expecting Sony to uh, push back uh, Venom 2 let there be carnage into 2022 sometime uh, but to our surprise they didn't uh, now Venom let there be carnage is the follow-up to, uh, to the first Venom movie that made a little over 850 billion dollars at the worldwide box office uh it was um it was a really funny movie uh great action uh, tom hardy would did great in the movie uh the the dialogue back and forth between the symbiote venom and tom hardy was was just spot on uh they picked a great actor to do that with um so the trailers for this one look so funny um uh, the action looks great. Woody Harrelson looks great um, as Carnage. Uh, so I, I'm expecting for a really good movie, and I'm I'm very glad they moved it up instead of pushing it into 2022. Uh, this is another one that I'll be going to the theater to see. Um, so let me know if you saw the trailer and what you thought about it. Let me know if you think that it will duplicate the success of 20 of. Uh, of Venom 1 uh, I don't think it will uh, make as much money because of the pandemic and everything but I do think I, I, I just hope at least it's it lives up to the entertainment value of the first one so like I said let me know in the comments below what you think about the about the move and if it excites you now on to the last topic of the day now Venom wasn't the only movie that moved Top Gun, Maverick, and Mission Impossible 7 also moved. Except they didn't move forward. They got moved back. They got pushed back into 2022. Deadline reported. After a successful launch of clips and footage at CinemaCon, Paramount, Paramount is pushing its big Tom Cruise tent poles. Top Gun, Maverick to May 27th, Memorial Day weekend 2022. And Mission Impossible 7 to September 30th of 2022. Again, these are big potential billion dollar grossing franchises co-produced with Skydance which require the world to be in an ideal order not crimped by the pandemic. Mission Impossible alone with six movies has grossed 3.57 billion dollars. The most recent movie in 2018, Mission Impossible Fallout hit a franchise high of 791.7 million dollars at the worldwide box office. Top Gun Maverick vacates the pre-Thanksgiving weekend of November 19th and takes over Mission Impossible 7th previous spot of Memorial Day weekend next year, putting the sequel to the 1986 hit back in the summer, where the original first launched and grossed $357 million plus global. So now I'm really disappointed that I don't get to see Top Gun Maverick as early as I thought I was going to get to. Uh, now I have to wait. I'm not so disappointed about Mission Impossible 7. It's, they're good movies. I'm just not as big of a fan of those as I am uh, as I was Top Gun and the trailer for the new Top Gun Maverick movie. That looked really great. It got me pumped up. Now, that's all for today. Now, if you like what you saw today, then please hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell to get more of my videos. Thank you and have a good day.